Fighting Gin Sports, the provisional poll for Sunday's Capital. The forecast, mostly sunny skies today with the brisk easterly wind. Nine-year-old Metro Girl has a new lease on life thanks to... Doesn't anyone give you the time anymore? Tracy Hooper was given... Are you okay? What time is it? Um, 4.37. Oh, my God. What's the matter? When I got dressed... 3.36, 3.36 when I looked at the clock, when, when I could still see it. So that means your vision is... It's been over an hour. And this is a long... Jesse, what if this is it? What if this is when it doesn't come back? Okay, exhibit... I know I said I could handle this. Losing my sight and having a baby on top of it, and I, I can. I, have I will, no but doubt in my mind that you can. But if this is really happening, if this morning was the last time I see your face, I'm not ready, not yet. Hey, hey, hey. this is gonna be hard. We're gonna get through this together. Okay, we'll be okay. Oh, Jesse, I love you so much. Me too. Me too. Well, I guess Thank God every night I'm no longer alone in this. Because as frightening and as heavy as this is, it's only half of what I was carrying before. No, well, at least then you had Jake. <sighs> Jake's not you. I was so scared to be a burden, I didn't even realize how much I needed my husband. Well, he's right here and he's not going anywhere. Hey. I have an idea. What? Why don't we just skip the party? Stay here, order some food. Oh, I want to go, Jesse. Even if you can't see. No, this episode, it will pass just like the rest of them. But I thought you said this. No, episode. I know what I said. And there is a part of me that's still scared that my vision won't return, but I am sure that it will be back before the end of the night. Baby, you have got nothing to prove. Understand me? Yes, I do. David is already lining up my replacements. I mean, like I don't even exist anymore. I need to go to this party. And when he starts slinging the mud, the insults, the threats? I will straighten my back, hold your hand tight, and order you a stiff drink. <laughs> I'm serious. Baby, he's not going to make this easy for you. I know. The man wants me gone. And for a little while, he will have his wish, because I'll have to take a leave of absence, have the baby, learn how to cope. But it doesn't mean that I have to leave for good. And it certainly does not mean that I have to hand over my job to one of David's flunkies. Well, if you still can't see by the time we get there, it's going to be questions. Well, everybody will just have to wait for answers, because I'm not ready to go public with this. And, sweetheart, hopefully we won't even have to worry about that. And you sure this is just going to pass? Yes. And if it doesn't, so what? I've got you. To have and to hold. My start. My middle. My finish. Everything. Just stay close. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, you two. Hey, whoa. Look at you. Welcome. Crystal, Thank Caleb. You. Thanks for the invite. Uh, Angie, you want to go somewhere and, and talk? Oh, thanks. Caleb knows about my condition. He does? Yeah, I was with him yesterday when I had an episode. I happened to be at Wild when I smell smoke. Miranda was upstairs, and luckily, Caleb got to her. She had breathed in a, a fair amount. Oh, my God. I, I, how come I don't know about this? Well, she's fine now, thanks to Caleb, who ran upstairs and got her. Caleb? Right here. So, I, 
I want to thank you again. If you hadn't been there. Enough already. Come on. You not only saved the little girl's life, you might have saved my wife's career. She's thinking about throwing in the towel, convinced she couldn't practice medicine anymore. Well, why would you do that? I don't know. The world needs good doctors. Well, if it isn't Chief Hubbard squared. Wonderful to see you. Oh, you too. Only you can't see me right now, can you? Mind your own damn business, Hayward. Well, unfortunately for you, it is my business. Considering I own the hospital and your wife is chief of staff, granted, not for long. Yes, I've heard you've brought in some lackeys for interviews. But I would like to point out the obvious. I have not resigned. Just preparing for the inevitable. I mean, clearly your condition is getting worse. You just don't stop, do you? You're fighting a losing battle, Angela. Oh, you think so? Oh, I know so. I've written a letter to, let me see, the hospital board, the staff, the state medical board, citing all the instances in which you treated patients without disclosing your condition. Now, those are serious charges, don't you think? I wonder how they'll handle it. You need to stop messing with my family. It's the wrong family to mess with. Jesse, let's go. Angela, I... Look, look, this is a party, right? I feel like dancing. Go get your groove on, Jesse. My favorite place in the whole world. Right where I want to be. Any change? You've been dying to ask that all night, haven't you? I didn't want to push. Thank you. But no, no change. <laughs> what? What, what? I can sense you grinning. What is it? I don't know. You, me, baby makes three. It's our first family dance. <laughs> yeah, my feet are killing me about now. 